Hey guys, Laura here and welcome back to Captain Jasper. Today on Rabbit Nutrition and Feeding we're going to be talking about different types of hay. There are four main types of hay that you can feed to an adult bunny which are Timothy, Meadow, Oat and Orchard Grass. There is also alfalfa hay but unless your bunny is underweight or under five months old I do not recommend feeding this hay daily as it is higher in calcium and protein which can lead to weight gain and a painful condition known as bladder sludge due to an exceeded amount of calcium in their diet. Hay comes in different cuts that impact their nutritional value. First cut hay is the first cut of the season before it blooms. This hay usually has thinner stems and less leaves. It is generally higher in fibre and lower in protein and fat. The colour is lighter with more yellow and brown parts. If you have a rabbit that is overweight or prone to GI stasis, this is a good cut to feed. Second cut hay is a good hay for healthy adult rabbits. It is more leafy on the stems, which is more appealing to your bunny. This hay is greener than first cut, with the protein and fat content being higher also, but the fibre is a bit lower. This cut of hay is great if you have allergies to hay, as it contains less grass seed heads than the previous cut. Third cut is a soft and leafy hay. It is deeper green than the previous two cuts and has a higher protein and fat content but has the lowest fibre content. Due to the lower fibre content and higher fat it is advised that this hay should only be given as a treat or be mixed in with first or second cut hay if your rabbit is a picky hay eater. If you have a rabbit that is underweight this hay and alfalfa hay is great to give them. Now let's talk through the different types of hay you can feed your bunny. Hay or grass should make up the bulk of your bunny's diet, with it being around 80% of their diet. In an ideal world, all bunnies would have access to fresh growing grass to naturally graze on. But as this is usually impractical to provide the correct amount of fresh grass a bunny needs in one day, hay has become the bulk of a domesticated rabbit's diet. If you are able to provide your bunny with fresh growing grass, ensure to introduce it to your bunny slowly before allowing them to graze on it freely as too much fresh grass can upset their stomachs unless they are used to eating it. Some buns can be picky hay eaters and only eat one type of hay, but if this isn't the case for yours, then I do recommend feeding a variety of different hays for optimum nutrition. There are so many different types of hays that buns can eat, but four are widely available and will be the focus of this video. The four most commonly fed and available to rabbits are Timothy, Meadow, Orchard and O but you can also feed the following hays and so many more. I highly suggest feeding a mixture of all four of these types of hays, or have a rotation of different hays each week, unless your bunny is an extremely picky hay eater. This is probably the most commonly available and fed hay. It is an all-round good hay and generally liked by most buns. It has balanced levels of protein, fibre and calcium. This hay is available in all three cuts mentioned previously and is a good hay to add to your bunny's diet. Orchard hay has the highest fibre content out of all four hays and has the lowest calcium content, making it a great hay to feed. I have a hard time finding this one in local pet shops, but it is often available online. Oat hay is great for picky hay eaters, as it is one they will usually end up devouring. However, it is the lowest in fibre out of all three. It does have a fairly balanced protein and calcium levels in comparison to the other three and it is a good one to mix in with other types of hay. This is one of my boy's favourite types of hay. They will prefer eating this even when their pellets or greens are available, which is ideal. This hay has fairly balanced fibre levels, but is the lowest in protein out of the bunch. The calcium levels are the highest out of the four, but certain cups of Timothy can also have similar calcium levels. Also, although it's the highest, it isn't high in calcium. I have added alfalfa hay onto the chart so you can see how much higher it is in protein and calcium and it typically has a lower fibre content than the other hays. Alfalfa hay is also not a grass based hay, it is a legume. You definitely want to get loose hay opposed to compressed. This will dramatically reduce the dust content in the hay as compressed hay tends to have way more dust than loose. Dusty hay can cause respiratory issues and allergies for you and your bun. I know Alice is extremely sensitive to it. 
With my previous bunnies before June and the boys, I used to buy big pails of compressed hay as it saved money, but it caused me to have more allergies, and as Alice suffers with dust allergies, it is a big no in our house now. Plus, loose hay is much nicer smelling and will be more appealing to your bun. Most local pet supply stores and, or depending on the area you live, local farms often have hay available, but I highly suggest getting different types of hay each time. Burgess Oxbow and Hay Box Club have great selections of hay you can have delivered. I often get the Burgess small bags of feeding hay alongside other varieties of hay to feed in the week. They even do some with forage mixed in. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my channel for more bunny tips and tricks. In the next episode we'll be talking about bunny safe treats, what you can feed them, how much you should be feeding and what not to feed. Also, for all my regular subscribers, I'm sorry episode 2 of Bunny Breeze is a bit late. This week has been a bit hectic, but it is almost done and will be ready by this week coming, along with another surprise video or two that me and my boyfriend have been working on together for all of your entertainment.